broadly speaking, I typically define artificial intelligence as basically using computers to perform tasks that typically require objective reasoning. So uh, it's in some respects or in some cases, it's computers learning on their own. That's what machine learning is. So when it comes to healthcare, we're hearing a lot about how artificial intelligence can be used to decrease clinicians' burden when it comes to things like documentation and billing and so on. Uh, but then there's also the patient care piece. Clinicians will have varying levels of engagement with artificial intelligence, and there's going to have to be some uh, education and or curricula that they'll uh, engage with that will allow them to feel comfortable with reading the literature related to artificial intelligence and machine learning in healthcare, or even interpreting the outputs of artificial intelligence and machine learning. So that's one of the things that my team and I have been focused on. We set out with a mission to provide some foundational uh, educational modules that would be available to as many people as possible. We wanted to allow learners to at least start to understand what do clinicians need to know from a foundational perspective about artificial intelligence and machine learning. Eventually, we'll have to have the content incorporated or threaded throughout the entire curriculum, and that's both at the UME or undergraduate medical education level and at the GME or graduate medical education level and the continuing medical education level as well. Patients are going to increasingly engage with artificial intelligence-based technologies in some cases without their clinicians knowing because there are lots of direct-to-consumer uh, technologies out there that patients can purchase on their own. So as clinicians, that's something that we're going to uh, have to assist our patients with uh, kind of navigating their way through. Many clinicians and patients are understandably concerned about biased algorithms. Unfortunately, we live in a health system in which there's lots of bias in many of the things that we do. And Artificial intelligence can learn that bias. But then also those who are developing the algorithms, we have to ensure that they are developing algorithms that are going to be beneficial to all communities that stand to benefit from that particular model. From a governance perspective, because things are moving so fast, it's very challenging to regulate all of the technologies that are being deployed out there. Not until recently, as the FDA began to regulate AI that's actually integrated into the electronic health record. So you can imagine that's something that we're using regularly, but at one point they were not being regulated. So you could imagine a place like Michigan, which is great, we have levels of governance, but you could imagine that for institutions or organizations without that type of governance structure, there are some risks there. Ultimately, I think we have a lot of potential in these technologies. It's just a matter of thinking about all of these strengths and limitations and uh, being very nuanced about uh, how we approach uh, some of the challenges related to AI and machine learning in healthcare.